Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Mohammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about data has invalid value. It's an error handling in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed it, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This is my Power BI file. In this, I have this data. Let me zoom a bit. Yeah, this is the one. I have this column where I have the data like 212 dash 22 and 212 dash and 212. Now, what I need is I need the write of four characters. That's the requirement. Okay. So, what I have done here is I have used another column is to know the length of the text available here minus 4 because I need to get the last 4 values right so that only I am using this function as you can see it has a 6 character here 212 dash and 22 so it's uh, 6 minus 4 in the formula so it is showing at 2 here whereas here it has only 4 so it is showing 0 here it has only 3 values minus 4 will result in minus 1 so now what I have done here is written a write function, a write DAX here. So write DAX basically I'm just taking the two values here. You can see the formula write of this column one, comma two. So it just give me the write of the two values is two two from here and dash two is from here and two one is from here, right? This is cool. Now what will happen if I change this to four? Let's try this. It is working fine. So 212 last four digits and last four digits and also last four. It is returning this value here. Last four values. So I got this last four values, right? As you can see here, it has given last four digit, but whereas here it has taken all the values here because it has only three values, so it brings up all the three values here instead of four. Now the requirement changes the requirement is i need the last i don't need the last four values i need after the last four values okay so in that case what i need to do i need to use this function as well right as well as the length function so i need the length of the total text in this cell and then minus four so i got this two here and zero and as well as minus one now either i can copy this and then instead of in this column instead of four i can use this function so what i'm doing it here is i'm just taking the right of this column the first column and from there i'm saying the total length of that specific text in this case this one two is six minus four it will give two so it will bring the two values here in that case if i do so and click commit here i have six values so it will turn two here I have 4 and it will return 0 it should be and yes 3 but it is giving me an error here an argument of function right has a wrong data type or has an invalid value it is purely because the right function of this parameter right so for an example this one the number of characters it doesn't accept the negative values because as you can see in this column I got this value after the four digits I have two values here and zero values here and minus one here so that's only is it returning an error here to make it clearly understand for you I'm just giving it one by one here so as we are already tested with four now I want to test it with zero so instead of four I'm just giving the zero here still working on for zero it is not throwing an error but there is no data available here because zero is obviously will not have any value in that so it is returning a blank value here whereas if i change this one to minus one because we have these three values instead of four right so i am using this minus one and let's have a look at the result yes this is giving error right so now we clearly understand that if the right of this one the number of characters below zero then we will get this error here we understand the reason behind that now how we have to overcome that so this is a one more thing i have written here that is logic dax here so if you look at this one this was the earlier one 
so the right of this thing right so so this is the right of this column and then the table length so right and then to it will bring up this value here now i will take return and small addition on top of that that is if the column of the length that is this one is greater than or equal to then only it has to proceed this or else it can just give me the blank values here by doing so it just return the 22 from this value and then from here i can take the blank blank values here this is good right so this is how you can able to overcome this error data has invalid value this mostly comes when you use the substring right or left function in it so there should not be the number of characters should not be less than zero if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed it just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications if you're not yet a member of our channel just hit the join button to know in detail about it share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it in the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video